Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hada Labo uh, UV White Gel SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. This is my last sunscreens that I got on YesStyle.com. I'll link the unboxing video up here for reference. And we're going to dive into it. So it comes in a package like this. It comes in a, a jar, kind of similar to their Super Plumping Gel Cream or the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. And this is pretty, pretty expensive. So you get 90 grams of product and it's $18.20 right now on YesStyle. So this is the most expensive sunscreen that I got. Do I think it's worth it? We will find out. As far as hydrating ingredients go in this product, it has hyaluronic acid, it has glycerin, and it has some dimethicone in it. So it's going to go on smooth. It's going to be nice and hydrating. The product is fragrance free. It is dye free. And it claims to be a lightweight moisturizer that moisturizes deep into the stratum cornea with a fresh feeling. This is not my favorite type of packaging because it's not really good for on the go because you're gonna have to dip in your fingers into the product. There are preservatives in here, so that is supposed to help with bacteria and stuff, but it's it's this is a sunscreen that I would apply at home in the morning and not reapply if I'm not at home throughout the day because I wouldn't want to touch my fingers in here. But anyways, looks like this. It is pretty much like a white gel consistency. And when you blend it out, it just takes a couple of seconds and it's blended into the skin. It is fragrance-free, but it does have a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of like a lotion smell. So it blends out to absolutely nothing. And when you apply it onto the face, it's super moisturizing, very lightweight. I, I would highly recommend this for people with normal to dry skin, very moisturizing not matte, not drying. If you have super oily skin or it's a super humid day out, like it is today here, today it's going to be 93 degrees, you know, this might not be the best, but I'm going to wear it today in the hot weather and I'll let you know. It's also not, it doesn't claim anywhere to be water resistant, so that is, that is a little bit of a concern to me because things that are water resistant or sweat resistant usually will um they're gonna stay on better when it's super hot my oils come out i'm sweating uh you know even if i'm not swimming or i'm not in the water just the water resistance helps with, with sweat and oil coming out throughout the day so this is one that i really need to reapply this is already my second application of the day it does blend out really well though it feels really hydrating which I like, you know, I, I do like to be hydrated. Right now I'm in the air conditioning, but I am gonna go hang outside by the pool, read a book. I will have a hat on and sunscreen and everything like that, but that's what it looks like, people. So it looks pretty good and feels good too. Man, it does make my skin feel super soft and smooth. I like the sunscreen. It's the most expensive one that I've tried. You get 90 grams of product and it is $18.20. So this is not, not the cheapest option. Let me tell you that. So far, I do like it. I will let you know how it wears out throughout the day and anything like that. But so far, this is my favorite one of all of them that I bought as far as hydration. The Skin Agua ones are my favorites for um, when I'm hot and oily, probably like today. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. I've been just taking it straight from the cap because a lot of it's stuck in there. So I'm just taking a glob on my finger and this did not make me overly oily. It really didn't do anything, honestly. Doesn't bother me under my eyes at all. My biggest shocker is that it didn't feel heavy because it's, it's super moisturizing. I mean, it's lightweight, but it's kind of thicker. And so I thought maybe that this would 
maybe feel a little bit more heavy, but it's it's not. It just blends in so nice. And I'm so, so sorry if you can hear my neighbors have young kids and they're playing in the pool and they're super loud. So I really hope that you can't hear that. But if you do, I'm so, so sorry. It kind of blends in like a moisturizing cream, you know, no cast, nothing like that. Feels great on the skin. So I like it. Today my skin feels really great. Um, it's not been oily or anything like that, so I'm pretty pleased. So overall, I do recommend this sunscreen. I can't give you uh, any long-term effects of it, but based on the ingredients and the way that it, it's already kind of working on my skin, it's not clogging up my pores at all. It blends in great. This would be great for anybody, um, any skin tone and really any skin type, oily skin, normal skin, um, dry skin, it would work great. If you have some skin irritation issues like eczema, psoriasis, or even seborrheic dermatitis, I think that it could work, you know, test it out and try it. I think if you have rosacea though, or eczema, use a mineral sunscreen, okay? Because these have to absorb into your skin and they absorb the UV light, whereas zinc and titanium dioxide mineral sunscreens reflect it. They more sit on top of the surface. So, um, if you have those issues, you might want to use a mineral-based sunscreen, but honestly, I, I would recommend this to everybody. It is a little bit pricey, so do know that. Again, $18 for 90 grams, so it is not, it's not the cheapest product that you're going to encounter, but thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye-bye.